We have eyes. Is is it Isaiah? Oakland. I'm not sure of the spelling here. Is it it's Isaiah, Isaiah or Isaiah? Isaiah from, Cali- Isaiah from California. All uh, right. Sorry. Oakland, California. The great KSFO. Go. Yeah. Last week you were supporting the fly, the the the, the celebration of the Confederacy and the flying. No, the... I didn't support the celebration of the Confederacy. I was explaining why a governor of a state that was in was in uh, was in part of the Confederacy did what he did. Okay. I'm from Pennsylvania. You get it? Would you support people flying uh, the, the 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 Hitler and the Nazi flag? No, I wouldn't, because last time I checked, none of the states were part of the Nazi Third Reich regime, were they? What do you want to do, sir? Do you want to rip the pages out of the history books? What do you want to do? All the uh, grandchildren and great-grandchildren of these people, what do you want to do? You want to send them to another country? Tell me. What, what would you like to do? Do you want to rip the pages out? You want, you want to pretend none of this happened, sir? Or you only, or you only want to talk about it when you want to talk about it. You want to pretend that Jews were not killed in the in the flying chamber. You're not re- you're not really following me, are you? Nazism okay. in the Third Reich was never part of any government that I'm aware of in this country. Are you? Well, well look, you you want to support. Well, look at what? Nobody's endorsing slavery. I'm not you endorsing to, it. Are you? You you are endorsing slavery. You want to say? You know what? You're an idiot. So now Mark's endorsing slavery. Where are you from, sir? Do you support people? Bring- I'll ask you again. Where are you from, sir? Do you want to support people? One more time. Where are you from, I said. How can you support the Confederacy? You know what? I'm going to tell you something, sir. You're not from this country, but you need to learn the history of this country. You can talk about the Confederacy. You can understand the Confederacy and reject it, as I do, and reject slavery and segregation. I resent and detest people who try to shut me up and other people up for talking about American history. And you don't even realize what an idiot you are. Here I am telling you I oppose slavery. I don't know anybody who supports it. Unless, of course... Uh, unless, of course, you go to parts of uh, of the third world that, that still use it, like Sudan, that enslaves its Christian blacks. The Muslim blacks do. The government there does. But no, no. We're supposed to all believe that if the governor of Virginia, or any southern governor for that matter. By the way, Bill Clinton recognized Confederate Day. Did you know that, sir? The governor of Virginia celebrated... I asked you, did you know that Bill Clinton endorsed that? And as a matter of fact, do you think he supported slavery? This country... I get out of here. I can't take it anymore. Mark, why are you in a foul mood? That's the example right there. That's the example right there. The guy puts words in my mouth, and he wants me to be the caricature that he holds. And he would not tell me where he's from. I was curious to know where he's from. What's the problem? I'll tell you why he wouldn't tell me, because most people who come here, not all, escape these hell holes, these vicious, horrific regimes. These, these vicious, horrific regimes. And then they come here. And the vast majority of them enjoy this country, appreciate this country, embrace public debate. But some folks come here, and they still trash us. Now, no, I'm not saying I don't fly the Confederate flag, but there are people whose great-grandfathers fought in the Civil War. What are they supposed to do? Reject their great-grandfather? Reject their family? And many of these families never owned slaves, never supported slavery. Even though in the end the Confederacy did. Now, I'm willing to talk about it openly. He's only willing to talk about it if he can smear people. If you read my book, Liberty and Tyranny, and if you listen to this show, you know I believe slavery is the worst thing that ever occurred in this country, that ever could have occurred in this country. It is a blemish on this country. But we had over 600,000 casualties to end it. And it's the party that's in power today in Washington 
and in most of the blue states, it is that party that was born in support of slavery and, as a matter of fact, suppressing and repressing Indians. But it was the Democrat Party which came into full light under Andrew Jackson. They still celebrate Jefferson Jackson Day and Jackson so great and Jackson this and Jackson that. They still do it. It's their their ancestry, not ours. Al Gore's father opposed the vote the Civil Rights Act of 1964. He joined in with the segregationists. Not my father. My father hated the bigots from day one. Bill Clinton, his mentor, Fulbright, one of the leading segregationists in the United States Senate, period. Not my mentor, his mentor. You leftists and you Democrats, you don't get away with this. Not on this show. Maybe it's you who support segregation and slavery. No, I'm look, call screener, I'm not going to discuss this all day long. I'm not going to let some left-wing oddball control the format of the program. We're not going to get into this. 